So why is it that we all struggle in doing the same things over and over, yet expect different results? We all want better results. We all want improvement. Yet for some reason, we get stuck in doing the same things over and over. Is it our comfort zone? Is it that uh, there's a muscle memory that we build up? Is it that we're prideful and we don't want to admit that there's a better way? I think it's all of the above, but I think bottom line, it comes down to what's our focus? What is truly what we're trying to achieve? Are we trying to get the rewards or are we trying to accomplish something? And are then the rewards a byproduct of what we're trying to accomplish? I think therein lies the real root of some of our challenge because unless we are trying to get somewhere different, unless we have a, a vision or a motive for what we're doing, we're going to keep pursuing the rewards. And if what we're doing today gives us rewards, we're going to keep doing the same things over and over and get those rewards. But the reality is that's going to lead to the same thing. And yet we're not going to get to somewhere else. And I'm going to suggest that this is, this is what management and being a boss is all about. But it's not leadership. Leadership is about getting a team from here to there, getting a team somewhere else. It's about having a vision. It's about wanting to accomplish something that is of value and that profitability, re revenues, everything else are the byproduct of the effort we put into serving others. Let me give you an example. When I address sales teams, I often ask, so when a customer comes on the lot today, what are you trying to accomplish? What is your goal in, in connecting with that customer? And invariably what people will tell me is to sell them a car. And I say, that's absolutely the wrong answer. Now, bear with me before you, you judge me in thinking I'm a lunatic. The point is, yes, in the end, that's how we stay in business. We sell cars, we service cars, we sell parts, we fix uh, uh, body work on vehicles. But those things, while they're the main focus of our job and they give us rewards, our focus should not be on selling a car. Our focus should be on giving that individual that comes on our lot the best customer experience they've ever had. And here's why. Because it will not only increase the chances that they will purchase more today. Not that we sell them, but that we create an environment for buying. We create an environment where they trust us and they know that we're going to steer them in the right direction. And yes, I realize that's going to mean some people will leave and will not purchase today and may not even purchase tomorrow. But it will result in a much higher number of people not only buying today, but coming back again and telling others about who we are and what we can do for them and how good we made them feel. And as a result of that, we increase loyalty and advocacy and we build a more successful business. Think about the example. Uh, most of you have watched the movie Moneyball. And we think the baseball, in the end, we'd love to get more home runs. Well, the chances of getting home runs is, is, is a lot smaller than the percentage of time we can get on base. And the whole premise of Moneyball, and it revolutionized baseball from the standpoint that it got people thinking about how do I do more and more activities, behaviors that increase the percent of success. And so instead of thinking about how am I going to get a home run each time is how do I strategically get on base and get more people on base and move those players around so we can get some people home. And that's what selling, if you will, that's what our job in the car business should be is to increase the chances of people buying. We're never going to get it to 100%. But if we do the right things, and I keep telling everybody over and over, it's about emotional connections. It's how we connect with each other emotionally because that increases 
people's behavior three times stronger than the way that we approach it today. Now, the top 10% companies, top 10% dealerships in the industry, they get it. They don't label it the way I label it necessarily, but they do it intuitively. Why? Because they want to serve people. And by serving people, they get a great byproduct. They don't want to get better grosses, they get better loyalty, they get better advocacy. So today I implore you, today I challenge you to break the mold and to adopt a new formula a new way of doing things that is focused on simply serving people, being helpful, creating an environment where they feel comfortable and, and where they trust us and where the logical conclusion is that they purchase.